My sister Terry has always wanted to see the Grand Canyon. She's flying out from New Hampshire. And we're going to spend a little over a week in this little RV. So... Would you go RV camping with your brother? Uh... So, would you go RV camping with your brother? I have two. Can I pick which one I want to go with? I mean, there's one you wouldn't want to go with? Sort of. <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to uh, hike the Narrows in Zion. It's a very deep canyon with a river running through it. And the last part of the hike, you have to walk or possibly wade through the river. We talked about it, and I think she's still on the fence whether she wants to do it or not. Yeah. Uh, Looks like we're ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. We're on the road. Okay, we're headed for the rim. Our first view. Wow. <laughs> the big ditch. <laughs> I call it the big ditch anyway. I like that. That was awesome. <laughs> more miles ago. Say what? Oh, look at the tunnel. It's about 3.30. Starting to get some shadows. What do you think? Amazing. Look how far across it is, Ron. That's, that's far. We said this is a good spot for a sunrise. Good night, sister. Good night, Rowan. Heading out to get some sunrise pictures at Desert View. Still pretty dark out. Just a little bit of a sliver of a moon in the sky. sprinkling this morning but uh, yeah get a lot more clouds <laughs> I get closer you walk closer <laughs> Next stop, Zion National Park. Zipping along. Dry riverbed. Sister's driving. Hi, sister. Hello. It's a little bumpy back here, but while sister driving, I can take a rest or a nap. Stopped on the way to uh, Zion just to pick up a few things. First stop in Zion Park. Uh, coming in from the east side. Okay, first tunnel. Do not pass. 
Time to go. One more RV coming to. Whoa, baby, slow her up. Wow. I made it through the tunnel fine. Uh, you can even see some of the uh, little cutouts of the windows in a tunnel. Okay, getting ready to get on the shuttle bus of Zion here. That's the line. Okay, we're here at Zion Lodge. Getting ready to do a hike up to those emerald pools. Lower, middle, and upper, maybe. We'll see how far we get. Lower emerald pool. Just wondering where you get wet when you go by. Oh no, it looks like you did. I think you can. We must be getting closer. I mean, how much further can we go? The upper pool coming up. So you think this is the middle pool? Is this the middle pool? I don't, I don't, it must be because I'm not sure. Where we thought was the middle was like over there, but there was no pool. This is actually the pool. Right, sandwiches for the hike. It's the start of the hike. Time for a quick pit stop, and then we're on our way. I guess we're ready. Ready to go on the water? No, it's cold. <laughs> no, it's cold. Can't be that cold, can it? Well, who knows? We'll find out. No ice. Walking in the narrows, and the canyon's getting more narrow, but if you look up, Quite a ways up. That's where we start. Through the water. Rock's gonna be a little slippery, but so far so good. Oh, this may be the deeper section coming up. Don't know if we want to go through it or not. What do you think? Where he is? Yeah. That's that's too deep. But it could be getting worse. Yeah, she's up to the bottom. I think it's time to go back. What do you think? I'm turning around. Okay. Change of plan. We went through it. Just had to roll up the pants a little more, but I think we're okay. and standing in front of me. Okay, we had a quick snack. Now we're heading back. Time to dry off my feet and warm them up. It is a bit cold in the water. What do you think? We did it. You liked it? Yeah, it was fun. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, we're back home. We spent eight days in this little camper, uh, but we both had a good time. Yeah, we split up the chores, uh, the big ones like driving and cooking and stuff. So, can you go with your brother or sister? If you can stand them when you're not camping, probably good for when you do go camping. 
This is Grandpa Ron, and I'll see you on the road.